Well, the Chippecanoe County Prosecutor's Office is trying to keep up with a significant caseload increase. Prosecutor Patrick Harrington says his office receives a new police report every 14 minutes. He says the county's drug problem is likely a factor, and so is the increase in population. The council has provided some support. The Tippecanoe County Prosecutor's Office is looking at a total of nearly 25,000 cases this year. Wow, that's that's a lot. That's a lot. But the population's going up, so it's just going to keep rising. We have to keep up. Prosecutor Patrick Harrington says he's doing his best to prepare. The Tippecanoe County Council granted his requests for five new deputy attorneys starting in January. Obviously, we could use more, but the five is addition for us and we're going to try to uh, see how that works and we'll sit back and review probably in a year or two to see if uh, what the caseload numbers look like in 2020. Right now his deputy prosecutors handle about 885 cases apiece and work about 6.3 days per week without overtime. They're all salary paid. I've come in on Sundays and have to tell them to go home. To better oversee the office, Harrington is moving two supervisor positions and adding one new position to create three division chiefs. Those people will be in charge of day to day operations, training, and working closely with law enforcement on pressing matters. They've been doing this now for about five months without the title, uh, and we've received uh, overwhelming support and feedback from the, the courts, the judges, the clerks. He's hoping these changes. Changes help his staff's quality of life. It's because what we see every day uh, does affect your mental health. It's stressful. But community members are thankful for their work and hopeful for the future. Get the bad people off the roads and the crime goes down. God bless everybody. Hope, uh, hope the crime rate goes down. Well, the five new positions will put Harrington's office at 29 deputy prosecutors. He says overall, the office has seen a 38% increase since 2014, with a little more than 2,000 additional cases in the last two years. One man is dead in Jackson.